Hey guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you show you um, how to model this ramp. So that's Oscar um, something something art museum ramp. So it goes like this. Okay, so first let's create a project. And uh, the first time first I'm going to use this ramp tool. So click on the ramp and uh, edit type. So first I'm going to change this to um, to a very big number and okay. And also I'm going to change this to uh, because I don't know uh, what the height I need, what the top level is. So I'm just going to change that to ground level with a very high level as well. 90 meter, that should be enough. So I'll change that to 3 meter wide. And now I'm just going to model this. So for ramp, so it will be straight in the arc, straight arc, and uh, um, arc, arc straight. Okay, so straight first, and then arc so move your cursor to here so perpendicular to the this line or to uh, a parallel to this the line and you will see this dash line so click on this dash line and then trying to trying to trying to pick the point so trying to pick the this point okay so now rotate back maybe uh, let me try oh, hang on mm, this way this way, this way. Click on that. So yeah. So now we have, and then um, I just noticed that if you want to create another another arc, so for example this one, I'll, I'll just create a bigger arc, and and if I click on this on um, this one, it will go. See, it will go back to the previous one, so you won't be able to create connect two arc with different radius. So, so you need to have a straight one. So, so for this one, I'm going to let me have a look at this one. So straight, go that way. Okay. So, so let me just pick pick this point, and then tangent to this arc. Roughly here. So see see this. And then go that way. So maybe here again and pick this one and go this way. So maybe here. And then I will need a, a little straight one and uh, another arc. So this time I'm going to create a little small, uh, a smaller one. Yeah. So and then uh, maybe stop here. And then another straight, and another arc, okay, and another straight, and tangent here, and then go the other, oh, sorry, wrong one. So I need to pick here, and then pick this point. And then go go maybe, maybe maybe here, and then last straight one. So if I click finish, and let's have a look in 3D view. I'll delete this. Delete this. Yep. Um, the scale is quite <laughs> not right, but uh, yeah. All the level should be okay. So yeah, so it's basically just just um, if you want to model some uh, a ramp exactly like this, probably like the best way is just go um, create some draw, maybe do some line work, detail line or model line in the floor plan, and then you can follow this. So you can create this ramp, but uh, the method will be the same. Just uh, uh, use straight ramp arc ramp straight arc so create this continuous ramp okay so this is 
this this will be the first method. And another method I can think of is um, use matching. So um, I'll try try it here. Okay, so so model in place mass. Okay, and okay. So first we need to create a path. So reference uh, spline through point or Let's, let's try this one. Okay, so and draw on work plan, work plans, ground floor. That's fine. So I'll place some point. Okay, so this will be the ramp, the path of the ramp, and. Uh, so now the next step is uh, we need some profile. Okay, so let's go to 3D view. Okay, so hmm, hang on. looks like uh, no, not we, we we can't use this one because we can't we can't uh, adjust the height of this point. Okay, so let's go back, delete this one. We're going to need we we're going to need reference and spline through points so let's draw it again okay so this one and let's go to 3d view again so now this one so if you can select this point and so you can just top in the height for each point so for example 500 for this one one meter for this one and this one will be one fifteen hundred. So I'll just quickly type all the points in so we can have um, the pass finished. So twenty five three meter thirty five four meter forty five and five meter. Okay, so now we have this path. Yeah, you can adjust the if, if you, yeah, if it looks like they need to be higher, but uh, I'll, I'll leave it for now. So now we have this path, and then we need some profile. So play a, place a point, draw on face, place it, and then reference. Uh, I'll do a rectangle, set work plan, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this work plan, and draw a a rectangle so this will be the, the profile of the floor so I'm going to move this roughly to uh, yeah, move this middle middle point middle point to this point okay and then I'll you can adjust this thickness may make it three three hundred and also the width so full four meter I'll leave it for now. So now if I select this profile and this path and create a form, so you will see um, so at this at here it's it's quite flat, but I'll just try to see can you see here? So it's it, it rotate it's it's rotated here. So it's not flat anymore. So what we need to do is let me just control Z, go back. So um, go back. Yep. Yeah, okay. So select this point and the profile CC, and then select this point, pick new holes and pick uh, probably here. And then if if we have a look, if you have a look here, so you will see it's rotated. So we just need to maybe type in a number to rotate it. Maybe not roughly flat. Yeah, maybe eight. Eight. Okay, so now select this profile and this profile and also this path. Create form. So now it's quite flat at this end. It's quite flat at this end. And in the middle, it's not. Um, yeah, it's still a little bit angle. So what you can do is just control Z and you can just copy this so 
and place it here so and then you just need to adjust it maybe negative four degree so now select three profile create form so now we have this ramp created by mass okay so you can just uh, I'll just change that to zero and this one to one okay so if you you can still you can still adjust this point if you want to you can still uh, go back to a top view you can adjust them it's quite flexible and also you can adjust the profile as well so for example make it thicker or make it wider but yeah this this is the messing method so once you finish you can um, just use this as a mess or if you don't if you want some actual you you won't be able to use a floor because it's different different uh, different to that so but you can use I think you can use roof <laughs> if you really want to have something like uh, other than mess so you can create a roof using this so it's a roof oh sorry not mess a temporary hardware mess and then so this this is the roof okay so that's it uh, if you if you find uh, another method or find some better method please let me know otherwise i'll see you next time thank you bye